YouTube video to share with people and I have to figure out how to upload it. But the reason I'm doing this is because I needed a YouTube video to figure this out. Uh, my daughter is now 17 months. I hate saying that. I gotta just say like a, over a year, but you know, people get technical. And um, I bought this leaf at Ikea to go with her Lion King themed bedroom. Um, but of course, Ikea instructions do not use any words in any language and just vague pictures. Um, so I looked at YouTube as everyone does to learn anything on how to do this. And all I found on YouTube was other stuff that was unrelated or people complaining that they couldn't figure out how to do this or how difficult it was. But no one actually showed how to do this. So um, I'm actually starting to figure it out. I apologize I already started, but I'm going to try to rewind to help anybody out. So I figure somebody out there needs to put a tutorial on this. And I guess I'll be that uh, victim to do it. <coughs> So 17 months later, I think I know how to do it. Uh, we had a tent we were doing for Christmas that my daughter received that her room is too big for. And um, my father-in-law helped me put it together and he's kind of the reason why I knew how to put it together. And the photos were better than Ikea's famous, you know, instructional, instructional videos. So we're gonna do this leap. Now, first of all, you gotta look at all these pieces. There's a lot of them, okay? This is a short yellow one. The one over there is the really long one. You gotta really look at the sizes. That one's like an L thing. You want the longest one. So they all come, just unwrap it out of the rubber band. It's very intimidating when you open up the package. And it's gonna be something like this. I just undid this one just because I wanna show for the video. But it's gonna be like this, a whole bunch of them. It's very intimidating. Just attach them all. They're all attached already, as you see. Uh, how can I do this? with one hand okay you see so just do them all it will save you a lot of headache just doing that i wish i did that originally you know i'm not the world's handiest person i'm actually really bad it's actually like a family joke and my aunt who was a bricklayer couldn't figure this leaf out so this is how hard this thing is so the fact i'm figuring it out it's a miracle so i knew i had to help other parents so find the longest piece out of them all after you do that now that longest piece you're gonna put in the main stem of the leaf. Oh, let me lay it out for you guys on the floor. This thing looks like a cloth kite right now. And it kind of is like a kite if you think about it. Okay? So lay it out. I was kind of doing it sitting on the chair, but you know, the, you get the idea. So you're gonna put the longest stem. Now you're like, where the heck do you put this thing? That to me was the biggest challenge. I'm looking at this Ikea thing. They get a hint where there's a hole. I know there has to be a hole in it. There is one. And I'm gonna show you where it is. So you're gonna unfasten that rough curl, okay? Sorry, I'm doing this like with one hand and recording with another. My father's watching the baby. And you see the soft part of the Velcro and the part, the rough part that attaches. Okay, lift this or kind of I guess pinch it on the sides. There's a hole! Holy macro! You have no idea how much I went through just to find that hole. So you're gonna sneak in the big one all the way through the main part of the stem, the long part. Okay? And that alone, wow. I figured it out in seconds today, but it took months to get to this point. If I never did that 10 with my father in law, I would have never made it that far. My father-in-law is like super handy. My husband is too, but he's always working, so I need to alleviate some of his headaches for things I break. Okay, now you gotta look for the two shortest of these things. Remember, like I said before, just attach them all. You know, they're already attached, you just kinda have to fold them. So you gotta find the shortest ones. And you're gonna put them through here. I kinda partly did it on these. Bear with me, I'm struggling a little for finishing them off. It gets a little difficult, but remember, they do bend. That's why they detach like this. It's not just for packaging. It's also for bendability, okay? And don't worry about the crisscrossing because it's kind of in it. Now, here's the other thing. It took me forever to find the hole. It's, first of all, on the leaf, you see? I guess if I'm facing it with the corner facing me, it would be the right side. If I'm facing from the stem, it would be your left, as you can see. 
So you have to do that. And it has to be on only this side, if you can see where the hole is. Not here, here, okay? And it's not over here. <laughs> I know it sounds simple, but when you're doing it, you're looking for this hole that's really hard to see, which right now isn't so much because there's already a pole in it. And now you just kind of have to snake it through and we're gonna struggle with this right now. Here's the munchkin who made a mess in her room, but that's what they do. All right, anyway, um, I'm gonna try, see. Hopefully you guys could capture this. I know this is not the best YouTube video ever, and I'm not a big YouTuber, but I know parents are in desperate need because I was a parent in desperate need of figuring out this leaf thing. And everybody online complained about it, but nobody actually showed how the heck you do this. Okay, you see? Ah, oh, we're getting a shape. But how do we finish this end? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think you just pop it in. We'll just kind of get to this little corner here. But let's see. Hopefully I won't break this in the process. This is what you call a trial and error. And I'm kind of looking at my instructions too, even though they're vague as heck. To try to figure it out. Oh, yep. They're not telling me how to finish this up. So we know how to put the pole in, which is a huge step in itself. But how do we keep it in? I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry, just being honest. Living and learning. Oh, I guess you really have to push this, huh? Push this, I guess, kind of push it this way. Yeah, you just kind of have to push it, kind of knead it in. Um, you know, make sure to push it all the way at the very end. Like, it gets stuck around here, so that's when you have to lose a little force. And then you have to kind of just tuck it in here. So you see, if you're looking at it like this, and there was no pole, it's practically invisible, which is great visibly, but it's terrible for her putting it together. So we're gonna do the same thing on this one. I hope you guys can see. Um, I have nobody to take this video for me, so I'm just kind of holding it with my thigh and recliner. But as horrible as this instructional video may be, it's the only one out there for this leaf. What team are you gonna see? Um, I'm doing a YouTube video oh, because every parent not. complains about this. We're watching the uh, fl the uh, your Islanders against the Flyers. But guess what? <sighs> What's your for the Rangers? There's thing? no fly. There's no fly here in January. Yeah, there is. Take a look. Well, then there's an issue. Then I gotta. I don't know. Then I have to complain to step up. Unless it's wrong. Unless they cancel it for whatever reason, but that's odd. Here we go. As I said before, it kind of gets maybe, stuck. Maybe it's a hockey game, but not, it. It's not yeah. get the fly. So you guys can see. Who's not getting the devil? Oh, it might be the devil. So I'm sorry. Yeah. It's a rivalry. Yeah, devil. That's I know it's a rivalry, and I got it for cheap. I was like, oh, yeah. a rivalry for yeah, cheap. Yeah, because the other one is... is uh, sorry about all the hockey talk, guys. Okay, it's a devil. Father it's came a in. <laughs> Uh, I'm really planning on seeing it out. Wait a minute. I'm really a Ranger fan, but with those ticket prices, I'm not going to any Ranger games anytime soon. What? It's a Tuesday. You work Tuesday. You meet me at Barclay. Oh, yeah, okay. You take the train and I'll meet you there. Okay, I told you that. 7 o'clock starts. Yeah. I hope not to be late. I'll give you my tickets in yeah. case I'm a little late. Sorry, guys. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't, then I can't go inside until you come. If I give you my your my, your ticket, I can't. Yeah, come. I know, but I can't. You are why you can't come in. No, I'll give you. I'll give you tickets. You, you stay with your ticket. This really is the hey, hardest part. You stay with your ticket. So okay? Yeah, I take my tickets. Yeah, you take yours. Make sense out of what you can't come in. Because I don't want you to miss part of the game in case I get and delayed and with the train. Damn, it's too damn cold to <laughs> That too. Yeah, so. Yeah. I'll just, I have to print out the tickets. Hopefully I have enough. In <gasps> I did it. Okay. That is really hard. You open it. Getting it in and then sneak it in. in. Okay. It. Yeah, because it didn't No, the cream was already open. So look, well, we have this here, so. pretty much the structure of the thing, except the outside, but we got the inside structure, like these dark green parts, basically. How cool is that? And she's loving it already. I think I'm going to put it in this blank corner, but I might end up putting it on the, where the mobile was. Um, I'm taking it down. She's getting too old for it, obviously. <laughs> I was supposed to put a Kuna Matata sign there, the decal, but um, 
All right. Can't find that. Now, next part, number three. Okay, from the only thing that's understandable in the world of Ikea is I need the L shape. There's only one L shape pole. Oh, hopefully she doesn't break the poles. <laughs> Top of life. All right, so the L shape one. Remember the stringy thing? I put all them together except for this one because I knew it was a different shape. So, I'm... let's see what it goes. I assume it's going to be somehow to the wall. All right, so it's saying number three to do that. Say number four to attach it. Do I attach three to four? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we have three poles left. The L-shaped pole is one of them. Okay, so we're going to use the L-shaped pole. And this one, let me put this sideways. Sorry, guys, this is moving so much. I don't mean to give you headaches. This has three pieces that are attached. So this one is... Three attached pieces, but so is that one. So how do I know which one it is? Oh, Ikea. Some stuff you make is great, but some of it's so hard to put together. Best thing in Ikea to ever buy, by the way, is that. The tunnel. It folds, and it's great in the winter time, so they could be physically active indoors. But it folds really compactly. Right now it's just open because she was using it, and... She didn't put it away. She knows how to open it herself, but she doesn't know how to close it. Now this one's bigger, and that one's smaller, and they're both three pieces. How the heck I know which one it is? Um, well, it attaches to the L shape. What is the yellow one? Because it's a different color. And where does the white one go? seems pretty big. Oh boy. Oh, Ikea. Why do you do this to me? Did I do everything? I did the mainframe. I did the two metal, middle leaf parts. L shape. You know, I think we're just going to have to give this a shot. All right, I'm going to give the yellow one a shot because it looks thicker. And this is a pretty thick hole that it needs to go into, I believe. Yeah, no, it needs to go into that hole. So, um, yeah, okay, I understand this. That's just how it is detached once it's attached. Same thing here. We already know that. Now here is the key element. So this is a three-piece attaching to the L shape. Okay. I'm gonna put this here. Let's give the yellow one a shot. I just feel like it would be because it is a thicker one. It's the only yellow pole. So here we go. I'm gonna put it through the hole. Oh yeah, it definitely should be the oh, uh, yellow, excuse me. Yeah, it just fits smoothly. I think the white one would have been too thin. All right, so now I have this big long piece that's hitting everything. Okay. Now it's not telling me what to do. Is it? it seems like I need to snake it through the middle again. You need two things to snake through the middle? Huh? Was I never supposed to do that as the metal? Or is this just for all the way around? I don't know if I was supposed to do the middle frame first or the sides. But this is larger and this is a pretty wide circle. So I would think this would be our This is saying upwards. That's what's confusing. Okay, I apologize. I believe I did the middle wrong. I believe what I did the middle was supposed to go around the leaf. And what I have now has to go through the middle. So I had the middle wrong. All along. 
my apologies. Please watch this video before you actually do it. That's the whole thing. Or else you'll just end up making the same mistake. Okay, so we're going to have to redo this. Let's give it a shot. <sighs> what a nuisance. Ikea, you need to come out with better instructions. It's bad when I'm doing Ikea tutorials. This is a new low. This means no one else on this planet could figure this out. Like I said, I am not a handy person. Seeing me hammer and nail is hysterical on how not handy I am. Now, I assume the, the heavier part, and which part we have to make sure is going in. Okay, Ikea's thing is showing it that way, right? Okay, so according to the instruction booklet, the yellow part you want sticking upwards, I guess, and this one kind of downwards. So you're going to sneak the leaf into the yellow part. So the middle part of the leaf, the middle stem. All right, well, I loosened it up, I guess, a little. All right, so remember this, the middle frame. Find that little hole. Open her up. And we're gonna snake this through. See? Okay, I'm gonna get into the bendy parts. Oh, this makes more sense. I saw this actually at the Brooklyn uh, Prospect Zoo. So I kind of know some parts of how to do this from also doing that besides doing the part that was similar. That was from somewhere else. Oh wow, just push it down. Just literally push it down. The stem of the leaf, the fabric part. Oh, I wish you guys could get a better view of this. Oh, I wish my father could be a cameraman right now. So you can see how smooth and easy that was. Now how do we finish this off? That's the big question, just like before. Oh wow, look at this. Oh my god, I never got this far. Okay. Wow, things are looking better. It makes more sense too. Okay. Wait, is this showing it the other way around? That wouldn't make sense. Not the way I've seen it as pictured. Okay. I guess we have to taper it, in a sense. Oh, that's the right wording. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to push this. Let's do like salt and pepper. Ah, push it. Push it good. Hmm. Oh boy. This is not. Boy, oh boy. Things always seem simpler when you have the idea of doing them or when you see them in the store than when you actually get to it. Even on radio, they seem simpler. All right, I gotta push this in and somehow Velcro this upwards. Oh, I guess you just kind of push it and use this as a little tip. I don't know if you guys can see in this angle, probably not. Let me see if I can. Uh, help you. Oh, I don't think you guys have seen this. I think it's too dark. Uh, Alright. Let me see. Where, where, where are we? Oh, there we go. Here's the stem. Okay, and see the way I'm using my hands? It's a nice little trick I just learned right now. So just kind of use this part to fold and push this in to rub curl this and keep it in place. Now, any little simple tips. Okay. And we did that. Holy mackerel, we have a leaf. Look at this thing. It's humongous. Okay. Now. We still have to do, I believe, the outside. So we have to keep this stable. Unless maybe it doesn't need it. Oh, 
She likes it already. Probably doesn't get the purpose, but she likes it. Okay. So step six is now done. Now, this is not the fun part, and this is a part I kind of don't want to do right now. Because if my husband sees me screwing anything, he's going to get upset. But what do I do with this other piece? I seem to have a piece that hasn't made its way anywhere. All right, it has to be on the sides. This just seems too floppy for me. But once again, where is the hose? Hmm. Maybe not the spare pieces from my hand. If anything, they're known for. Less pieces. Did they only mention two on the inside parts? They don't mention here. So why do we have this third hole still? Hmm. No, maybe I misunderstood step one, and maybe that's what step one was showing me. And that was put them on this pole, which I still have. Because step six told me to go through the middle. Step one is the hardest step in as far as how they explain it. See, they show you putting it in. They don't really show you just snaking it this way or if you're snaking it this way. My original mistake is I snaked it this way and I wasn't supposed to and I realized it was step six. So I think I was supposed to go around here. Let's give it a shot. Now... This is saying, like, to the side of one of the stems. Let's figure it out together. Oh, you got my phone. I can't find my phone. Uh, she threw it somewhere. I don't remember where, but I know she threw it somewhere. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. oh, here we go. It's in the bed. So, she probably snuck it in through the slabs. Okay, here's the hole. I know the holes are one of the hardest stuff to find, so just to give you an idea. So the pointy side's over there. This is the stem side. So it's on your right side, right side of the leaf on the left side. And that's where we're gonna sneak this baby in. Sorry about that. It's really hard not having a cameraman. And it makes sense that it's the longest pole because it has to come all the way around. And it has so many bendy parts because it has to go through the shape of this leaf, giving it its structure. Let's see if it makes a difference that I'm doing this like the next to last step as opposed to the first step. Hopefully it doesn't, but so far so good. Okay. Oh, and once again, we're getting stuck. Actually, wait a minute. There's another pole now. <coughs> All right, now I'm really getting lost. But then again, it seems like there should be a second one. And this doesn't seem big enough. 